Good morning, everyone. This is Paul from Vita North America. Uh, welcome to our weekly webinar series. Uh, we're trying to do a short webinar uh, each week on topics that you guys are interested in. Uh, so, you know, thanks to your feedback, we're, we're trying to pick topics that you guys want to know a little bit more about. And so this is going to be kind of a, a quick webinar. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the, the Vigo Digital Denture Tooth Library and how to download it into your design software in either 3Shape or ExoCAD. So um, I'm going to give it just uh, another minute or two for uh, everyone else to join, and then we will go ahead and get started. Uh, while we're waiting, um, if you guys can't hear me, uh, please let me know. If you guys have questions, uh, there is a little box down there for you to raise your hand or type in a question. Uh, please do that. I'm gonna. We've got an awful lot of people here, so I'm gonna leave everyone muted. But if you raise your hand um, or 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 type in a question, I will try and. Uh, read it out loud or, or answer it for you guys um, and yeah so let me know if you guys have questions or if you guys can't hear me or anything like that give it another couple of minutes here for everybody to join and we'll go ahead and get started All right, well, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Uh, for any of you uh, who are just joining us, welcome, my name is Paul. I'm from Vita North America, and today uh, we are gonna talk about Vigo and how to download the Digital Denture Tooth Library into either 3Shape or ExoCAD. Uh, like I was saying before, this is our weekly webinar series. Uh, we're trying to, um, you know, pick some topics that you guys have asked about and do some short webinars on specific questions or specific topics. Uh, the first one we have this week is the Vigo uh, digital denture stuff. And um, we're gonna go ahead and get started on that. So uh, so this, so we're talking about digital dentures. And so what, real quick, what makes the Vigo different than other denture tooth or other digital tooth libraries? And the first off is that Vigo was designed specifically for the digital workflow. So you guys can kind of see here that we've removed that long neck, uh, we've changed the shape of the bottom uh, so that it is a tapered oval so it will fit passively into a printed or milled dentures. So there's no undercuts. And we've also reduced uh, the length on it so uh, it doesn't have that long neck so it should fit better over that arch without having to trim anything. Uh, the other thing that we did with our tooth library is um, we put in several different occlusal combinations. So when you're doing your tooth setup, you can pick buccal, lingual, crossbite, or any combination of there. Uh, and it will come in in the software in perfect occlusion, which is really saves a lot of time and energy when you're doing denture teeth setup, because uh, you know that it's gonna function perfectly in whatever kind of uh, occlusal setup that you, uh, that you chose. Like I said, buccal, lingual, or whatever. 
that it is made of an SC polymer, uh, which means a silica endowed polymer matrix, which basically means that it's got a very high Vickers hardness, a uh, very low abrasion rate, uh, so they're gonna last a long time and not wear very much. Um, the other big thing is that, you know, what you're not gonna get from a tooth that has been milled or printed is these are a true denture tooth. So you're actually gonna get the translucency, you're gonna be able to see the layering, have the, the fluorescence and opalescence built in, all of which you're not gonna get in a milled or printed tooth. So these are very, very nice looking teeth. Um, and again, because we're using this digital process, you know, the biggest savings here is in time and in labor. And like we're talking about with the occlusal setups and post-processing and that kind of stuff, that you can save over five hours in time, which is huge when it comes to production. So there's your value. Uh, I'm gonna share a video uh, on how to, uh, import these libraries. Um, again, please let me know if you can't hear this. If you can't, I will narrate. All right, guys, so here is how you're gonna get it in the three shapes. Three shapes should be very easy uh, because you don't have to request anything from anyone. Uh, you can do it directly from your, um, you know, from your software as it is. So I'll kind of show you here in the, in the PowerPoint and then I'll show you on uh, live on the screen. So you're gonna look for the dental system control panel. We're gonna go to the download center and we're gonna import the Vita Vionic. Uh, some people can't. Hey guys, I got a, I got a note that some people can't hear the video. So if you guys are watching, if you would, Raise your hands real quick for anybody who can't hear the video playing. See, no hands. Does that mean everybody can hear the video playing? All right, well, I am going to just go ahead and I'm going to play it here, and I am going to just narrate so I make sure that you guys can hear me. So this is how we're going to get the three shape. Uh, I've got both a, a, a quick PowerPoint tutorial that if anybody needs it, let me know and I can send it to you. Um, and I'm gonna also demonstrate how to do it on the computer itself, so. Oh, there we go. There we go. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna navigate to the uh, three shape dental system control panel and you're gonna look for the download center. Once you're there, you're gonna select the Vita Vionic Vigo and import. That was very fast, I know. Uh, so I'm gonna show you here on the screen. So you can either go to it in the dental manager or on your desktop to the control panel. Either place will take you to the same place. I prefer to do it in the dental manager and I'll kind of show you guys why at the end. Uh, but you're gonna open up the control panel and you're gonna navigate down under tools to the download center. You're gonna change your topic to download libraries. It'll take a minute to think and
There it goes. And you're going to want to select the Vita Vionic Vigo and then select Import. And then once it's finished importing, you're going to want to save. I got impatient here. So don't do it that way. Uh, it will finish, it will save, and then after you've made the changes, it will restart your dental manager. And then you know that the changes have taken place. Okay. Uh, this also works on a server setup. So if you have uh, several other des designers designing, uh, they can continue to design. You just have to remember that they're once they're done designing and save it, they will have to restart their dental manager for those changes to take place. And so at this point, once uh, you've imported it, saved it, and restarted your dental manager, the library will be available for use. And you don't have to um, you know, get a, any files from me or 3Shape. You can do it directly from your system. Okay. And let's see about ExoCAD. So ExoCAD's a little different because you actually have to request the library from ExoCAD themselves. So I can either send you the link or if you can't find it on their website, and you're going to navigate over here and select Vita Bionic Denture Lab uh, Libraries uh, to download. And this is, and they're going to ask for your serial number. The little question mark will tell you how to find it if you can't find it. Uh, enter your stuff, and they will send you an email with the link. So you can click on the link, and that will download the library. They also send a link to um, for this how to install the libraries. I recommend that you also uh, read that. Uh, basically, it looks like this. And uh, you can see there the one that I have highlighted. The, the biggest thing here is finding where that file folder is, okay? And the... The tricky part is, is that ExoCAD licenses their software to other companies like Zircon, Noble BioCare, Almond Gerbach. Uh, so um, where it's located might be slightly different. That that Dental CAD app is more of a placeholder. That if you're running just straight ExoCAD, it will probably say Dental CAD app. If you're running something else, it may not. So the example that you can see here is in my Almond Gerbach system, uh, instead of Dental CAD app, it actually calls it Sarah Mill software. Okay, so you're going to have to find uh, whichever, depending on which system you have, where the folder is, and you're going to look for that prosthetic tooth sets. Okay, and I will show you exactly what that looks like. So you can see on mine, it says Sarah Mill Software. Uh, and then under CAD, Library, and Prosthetic Tooth Sets. Now once you've found that folder, it's actually fairly easy. At that point, it's simply a drag and drop. So you can see all the folder of all of the teeth in there. So once you've found the folder, you simply drag and drop all those uh, uh, bionic folders in there and you're good to go. So under library, prosthetic two sets, and drag and drop all those individual uh, folders into there, and you should be good to go. And at that point, you'll have all of the, um, uh, the tooth libraries in your software, and you can use it. And that is 
how to import the libraries into your software. Um, if you guys want to find out more, uh, we are doing some hands-on, virtual hands-on workshops uh, on the Vigo, the process, how to design in the software, and then also how to uh, glue in the teeth and finish it. Um, you can either call your uh, local sales reps or uh, you can call or email me and I'll let you know what our schedule is. Also, I've got several other videos if you check out our, our Vita YouTube page uh, on Vigo and other topics. Uh, this webinar uh, will be up there uh, eventually or you guys can call me and I will send you a copy. Also, we've got uh, several other topics and like I said, we're doing a weekly webinar series. So, you know, tune in every week uh, for our, what we've got going on. We will send you guys a list of the different topics that we have. Um, I think coming up, let's take a look here. Uh, on October 15th, we have our um, electronic shade verification for easy, consistent, and accurate shade determination. So we're gonna talk a little bit about our Easy Shade 5, uh, how to use it, and some quick and easy care and maintenance. Uh, on the 22nd of October, we're gonna be talking about enamic and staining and glazing. And uh, on October 29th, we are doing providing the ultimate natural looking zirconia restorations, and we're going to be talking about how to uh, do the internal chroma shades and coloring stains for our YZ zirconia. So, so the, those are some of the topics that we have coming up. Um, if there's some other topics that you guys are specifically interested in, please email us and let us know, and we'll put something together for you. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, please uh, call us or email us, and uh, we'll be happy to help out. Thank you guys so much for um, joining me today. If you guys have any questions, uh, please uh, type them into the, uh, the little question box there, and or raise your hand, and I will be happy to answer them. I'll let this run for a couple more minutes. So if anybody has questions, please let me know. All right, guys. Well, it doesn't look like we've got uh, any questions uh, other than a couple of people have asked me to uh, send out the the, um, the tutorials or the PowerPoints, which I am happy to do. Please just uh, uh, send me an email and I will reply and send out these uh, PowerPoints. See if there's any other questions. I don't have any other questions, so uh, thank you all for joining me today. Uh, hopefully, we will see you next time.